Russian women flock to Trump condos, guests horrified by one thing they all bring with them. A shocking series of events is taking place at luxury condos bearing President Donald Trump's name. As it turns out, Russian women are flocking by the hundreds for a brief stay at the prime real estate, and guests have been left horrified by the one thing they are all bringing with them. If there's anything Trump doesn't need in his life right now, it's more Russians. Every time a whining liberal hears anything about the communist country in relation to the president, they cry foul and start screaming about impeachment again. As it turns out, it looks like there's a shocking new trend taking place in Florida that involves, well, Russian women. However, this doesn't so much hurt Trump the way that leftists may hope, but it can actually do some damage to his political image. According to NBC. Hundreds of Russian women are flocking to America with many of them targeting Trump condos for their stay. Sure, that doesn't sound bad, but guests have been horrified to see the one thing all these women are bringing with them, and it's a problem. You see, these women aren't coming to take in the sights or have a luxury vacation here at a building with Trump's name on it. They're coming to have babies. In fact, Every one of the women coming over is pregnant and decided to take the trip for the sole purpose of birthing their children on American soil. Having what's commonly referred to as anchor babies, these Russian women want one thing, their kids to have American citizenship. The U.S. Constitution clearly states that anyone born here is automatically rendered an American citizen, but this new trend is now seeing hundreds of women each year visiting the U.S. in order to give birth so that their child can benefit from birthright citizenship, something Trump himself has said needs to end. But, it gets worse. Big companies, such as one called Miami Mama in Russia, are making a business of American birthright citizenship in other countries offering expensive packages which include a stay at a U.S. resort for several months, all medical expenses, and visa fees. Although Olgia Rishtova, who took advantage of one such service in order to have her baby in America, says that she spent about $50,000 on her visit, other packages are as expensive as $100,000 as seen in a news report that aired on NBC. When asked why they come, Rishtova, 31, told NBC News, American passport is a big plus for the baby. Why not? 29-year-old Ekaterina Kuznetsova, another one of the dozens of Russian birth tourists who spoke to NBC News, added, and the doctors, the level of education. Apparently, the weather doesn't hurt, either. It's a very comfortable place for staying in wintertime, Oleza Suherva explained. Although the mothers claim to be doing this for their children's benefit, the act might not be as selfless as they suggest. Once these babies turn 21, they can sponsor their parents' application for an American green card. As Trump explains, this form of chain migration that starts with birthright citizenship is the biggest magnet for illegal immigration, and has to go. You have to get rid of it, he said on NBC's Meet the Press. They're having a baby and all of a sudden, nobody knows, the baby is here. You have no choice. Shockingly, the women involved even admit that the practice is controversial, but they don't seem to mind as long as their children obtain American citizenship. Even worse yet is the fact that they are using Donald Trump's properties to carry out the sick act. Unfortunately, people who think they're going to do this may not want to hold their breath. One of Trump's main focuses in the coming months is going to be immigration reform, and I'll bet this will be among one of the first things to go. It's time for the rest of the world to stop abusing our laws, and now we have a leader who's willing to stand up against anyone who thinks they can. Can.